So we're going to talk a bit about how to use Notion to handle your content calendars. This video is focused on social media and planning out social posts, but really could be the same thing for planning blog posts or uh, developing videos or anything like that. The beauty of a content calendar is that when the day comes to post your content, you don't need to think about it too much. It should already be set there. We use this for our agency for social media and it stays pretty full most of the time. The other advantage of this is that you can plan ahead. Like if you know now that you're going to have a Valentine's Day sale, you can go ahead and scroll to February and put that in there and start working on it now and then slowly fill things in. So in theory, as you look at each week as it approaches, you should already have a couple things in there uh, that you'd put it in the past that you can kind of polish up and get going. So in this example, we have three potential posts out here. Our new site is here, Happy Thanksgiving and Black Friday sale. And so of course we can click on any of those and see uh, when we're going to post it, what channels we'll post it to. So I just have a list here of, you know, just five of the major social networks. Um, a caption that you might want to use, you can put in potential hashtags you want to use, uh, put an image you want to use, and of course you can add your own properties or other notes or have a conversation about images or, you know, depending what's going on, you can have lots of things there. And of course, like most of the databases in Notion, the power of this really comes from the views. Uh, so this is a nice view, and this is really where we kind of live in ours just to see what's coming up. But if we go to here, we can also see a couple different things. So this is the overall calendar view. We can also see a calendar view of just Facebook posts. So any that are tagged with Facebook. So we see just what's going to be going on Facebook. If you wanted to do something like that, certainly could do it with Instagram or others. So this is just a filter channel contains Facebook. So you can make it contain the others. Uh, next, we have an upcoming post, just a table. This is probably the most convenient way to do it, just to see everything coming up. Um, sorted by reverse date, so the furthest out at the top. Really, I could probably flip that around, but however you want to do that. You can see the title, everything going on, see your hashtag, see what's missing in this view if you wanted. Uh, another way to do that, though, is to go to upcoming need image. So what this is, and actually, let me go back to upcoming for a second and show you one other thing. I do have a filter on this saying the post date, they were going to post it as on or after today. So we don't want to see stuff in the past in this view, just stuff that's coming up. But if we go to upcoming need image, this is going to show you all the ones that are coming up in the future that we don't yet have an image for. Because you see the other ones here, they all have these images, which it's neat in Notion. You can click on the image, zoom, and get a, you know, download that image and put it wherever you need it. Uh, the one we're still missing. So again, as this gets messier, it's easy here to see we're missing one image. But as it gets messier, it may be harder to know what's going on. And you're thinking, okay, I got Photoshop open. I'm going to spend a little while building some images. So let me go to upcoming ones that need an image. And this is going to be the full list of all the upcoming posts you schedule that don't have an image. So as you add an image to it, it'll disappear from this view. You could also do upcoming need hashtags. Uh, actually, for need image, let me show you real quick. The filter on that is the post date is on or after today and image is empty. So anything missing there. Similar thing for need hashtags. Maybe you're the, your role is to come up with hashtags and do research on that so you can see all the upcoming posts that need hashtags. So similarly, post date on or after today and hashtags is empty. Uh, you can do the same as missing a caption or only ones that are Instagram need certain hashtags. You can do lots of different filters for things in there, but those are a few examples. Uh, you could have an upcoming gallery, just a gallery view of all your posts where it pulls in the image. That's what's kind of neat with Notion is by default, it wants to pull in the cover image and some of that kind of stuff, which often works well. Uh, but in here in the properties, you can say the card preview, is it going to be the nothing, the page cover or the page content, or it pulls any image uploads. So I have for any file upload, excuse me. So I, have, I choose to have it show the image as the preview. So it's going to show the preview of the image and only show the date and title on it. So just kind of a neat way to see the pictures coming up if you want that. And again, we're still missing an image for that one, so that's going to be a problem. Um, and again, the post date is on or after today just to see stuff in the future. And then the last one I have in here is for all posts. So you're going to see everything, which in this, this example is still the same ones, but I do not filter out the old ones. I just kind of sort by newest going down to oldest at the bottom for all of them, going back um, infinitely. So as you get further in time, you can do this. This may be a quicker way to find something like, what was that post from last year? Pull up this view, do a search for Valentine's Day or, you know, whatever the case may be to find that old post and get it there. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. You can find this template and grab it for yourself. I'll post it over at notiontips.com. And if you have thoughts on how to make it better, please leave a comment and let me know. Thanks.